you recently updated or upgraded Mac OS on MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, maybe your iMac, and suddenly you lost your desktop icons. Hey everyone, welcome back to Crazy Errors. Today in this video, I'm going to help you fix your desktop icons. If you lost them, you can't see them, this video is going to help you. Especially in this video, I'm not only going to tell you instructions that are applicable on the latest version of macOS like Sonoma or Sequoia, it will also be applicable on the earlier versions. Step number one, take a look at the left side top corner where the Apple icon is. Next to it, you should see Finder. If you don't see Finder anywhere on the desktop, make one click and then you will see Finder. Click on Finder, then navigate to Settings, click on it. In this new window, you need to click on General. In this window, all these boxes like hard disk, external disk, CD, DVDs, iPods, connected servers, make sure they are clicked. Like, especially I would like to click on only external disk or hard disk. If I have one connected, I like to show it. So as soon as I click on it, I see my hard disk option available right there. Step two, go ahead and click on Apple icon at the left top corner, navigate to force quit, in this window, check Finder and click on Relaunch. Step 3. Navigate to View option in the menu bar at the top left and uh, look for Use this text option. If it is checked already, you can click on it and uncheck it and then see if you get your desktop icons back. Step 4. Create a temporary folder on the desktop. Make a right click and click on New Folder. Now this action forces the desktop to refresh. Despite following all these four steps, you cannot enable or find your desktop icons. Now this is going to be our final step and extremely impactful. First, we are going to follow instructions on the latest Mac OS. Click on Apple icon on the left side top corner, navigate to system settings, click on it. And in the system settings window, click on your name at the very top in the left. Now in this window, you need to make sure you're logged in with your iCloud account with your Apple ID. If you're not logged in here, click on sign in button and go ahead and log in using your username and password. Further in this window, look for option iCloud. Click on it. In the next window, you will see an option iCloud Drive. Click on it. In this window especially, you need to make sure desktop and documents folder that is enabled and then click on done. Now, if your device has older version of Mac OS, then the instructions are going to be slightly different. You go ahead and click on the Apple logo, then look for system preferences. Click on it. In the system preferences window, at the very top, you will see your name. If you don't see your name, you will need to log into your Apple ID using your email address and then password. Further on the right side of this window, click on Apple ID. Then in the next window, on the left side, click on iCloud. Then on the right side, if you notice there is an option iCloud Drive, make sure it is checked. If it is not checked, you need to check it. If it is already checked, you can uncheck it and then remove from Mac. Click on Stop Updating and Turn Off. Click on Turn Off iCloud Drive. And now go ahead and check that iCloud Drive option again. Now further click on options opposite to that. In the next window, you need to make sure desktop and documents folders that is checked. If it is already checked, you can uncheck it once. Click on turn off, click on show in folder, that's okay. See there in this uh, finder window, you have desktop. If you click on it, here we have all our desktop icons. So. In the previous window, go ahead and check that box again, desktop and documents folder and click on done and bingo. That should bring all the desktop icons back in the business. And that's it. One of these methods should definitely bring your lost icons. If this video helped you, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to share it with your friend and family. Also, you go ahead and subscribe us for future tech tips, tricks and solutions. And until next, have a lovely rest of day and I'll see you in the next one.